latest Tsukiji Guide for 2023 44 Food Recommendations Samurai Junjiro Channel Hi, I'm Akane Maru, born and raised in Japan. This video is the latest Tsukiji Guide. We will introduce 44 types of food, including classic dishes that have been around for a long time and seafood dishes from restaurants with long lines. Stores previously introduced will be updated with the latest information, such as prices and menus, and introduced again. This video is useful for sightseeing in Tsukiji, so please watch it until the end. Now, let's get started! This time, we will go to Tsukiji in Chuoku, Tokyo. We have arrived at Tsukiji Market. There are two stations if you are coming to Tsukiji Market by train. If you are coming from Shinjuku Station, Tsukiji Shijo Station is recommended. Exit A1 is the closest exit to Tsukiji Market. If you are coming from Tokyo Station, Ikebukuro Station or Shibuya Station, Tsukiji Station is recommended. Exit 1 is the closest exit to Tsukiji Market. It takes about 4 minutes to reach Tsukiji Market on foot from either station. Tsukiji Market is not suitable for sightseeing as many stores are closed on Wednesdays, Sundays, and holidays. Since there are many Japanese tourists on Saturdays, we recommend Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. By the way, the Tsukiji Market gets crowded around 11 a.m. and many stores close at 2 p.m. If you come at 7 a.m., when many stores open, you can enjoy a relaxing meal with less crowds. Tsukiji has many small stores and most of them do not have restrooms. If you need to use the restroom, Tsukiji Uogashi is recommended. There is a clean restroom on the third floor of this building and anyone can use it freely. There are also tables and chairs outside on the same floor for eating and resting. Let's start exploring the food! First of all, let us introduce Wakaba. This restaurant specializes in soy sauce ramen and is open from 6.30 a.m. It has a history of over 60 years and is a popular authentic ramen restaurant among chefs working in Tsukiji. This ramen is a simple soy sauce ramen that has been popular in Japan for a long time. The soup is simple taste but rich with chicken broth. The char siu is tender and has just the right amount of fat on it. The pickled bamboo shoots have an addictive crunchy texture. The noodles are thin and well mixed with the soup. The light aftertaste makes this ramen perfect for the morning. We recommend that sprinkling white pepper on it adds just the right amount of spiciness and aroma. Next, we will introduce this store, Eni Kaita Mochi. This store specializes in sweets using mochi and opened in March 2023. There are colorful and fashionable mochi, but the one introduced here is especially popular. They are baked to order, so you can eat them hot. This is a mochi with soybean flour topped with brown sugar syrup. It has the sweet flavor of brown sugar syrup and the flavorful flavor of soybean flour. It is in a stylish wood container. The mochi is baked, so the outside is crispy and the inside is chewy. The sweetness of the brown sugar syrup is good. The soybean flour goes well with the mochi. There are black sesame and mitarashi flavors, so be sure to give them a try. Next, we will introduce Ropan. Opened in 2006, this bakery is popular among chefs working in Tsukiji. They are always baking bread in the back of the store so you can enjoy freshly made bread. This time, we will introduce a particularly popular chocolate croissant. 
It is freshly baked, so it is hot and has a nice buttery flavor. The size is large and satisfying. The outside is crispy and the inside is moist. The sweetness of the chocolate melted in the hot dough fills the mouth. The crispy hazelnuts have a nice accent. We recommend eating it as a dessert after eating seafood dishes. Next, we will introduce this restaurant, Ajinohamato. This restaurant has been in business since 1925 and specializes in fish dishes. The fried fish is sold right in front of the restaurant and is so popular that there is a line of customers waiting. Here are the number one and number two most popular dishes at this restaurant. The first food is fish paste with corn around it and then deep fried. This is the number one most popular dish on the menu. It's crispy on the outside. It's full of corn and has a sweet taste. The fish paste is smooth and soft. The size is small, which is great for those who want to try a variety of dishes. Next up is the second most popular dish, the tuna minced cutlet. It is seasoned with sauce and has a strong taste. The tuna is moist with no smell. It has a sweet taste because it is filled with onions. Next, we will introduce this store, Onigiri Marutoyo. This is an onigiri specialty store that opens at 6 a.m. There are many different types of onigiri available, but we will introduce four of the most highly recommended items. The first one is salmon roll. It contains salmon sashimi, finely chopped salmon and cucumber. That's reasonable for three pieces. The salmon is fatty and melts in the mouth. The texture of the cucumber is a nice accent. The salmon is large and satisfying. In addition to the salmon, there are also tuna rolls. It is filled with tuna sashimi and minced tuna. The tuna is fresh, so there is no smell and the taste is very strong. It's nice to be able to eat tuna at this price. The next food is the most popular onigiri in this store. It is twice the size of an onigiri from a convenience store. The smell of seaweed is delicious. The onigiri are handmade by craftsmen, so it's fluffy and soft. Inside the onigiri is a half-boiled egg tempura. The melted yolk is creamy. The sweet tempura sauce soaks into the rice and is delicious. In addition to this onigiri, we also recommend tenmusu, which is a large shrimp tempura wrapped in rice and seaweed. The shrimp are big and gorgeous! Next, we will introduce this restaurant, Kakigoya Tsukiji Shokudo. The freshly grilled oysters served inside the restaurant are popular, but this time we will introduce scallops. Scallops grilled with butter and soy sauce have a nice flavor. The scallops are thick and plump. The sweetness of the butter and the saltiness of the soy sauce make them even more delicious. Next, we will introduce this store, Sanokia. This store offers a slightly different type of taiyaki. Usually, taiyaki is shaped like a sea bream. But maguroyaki at this door is in the shape of a tuna. It has a sweet flavor of milk. The thin crust is crispy. Inside is a custard cream. It has a rich egg flavor. The sweetness of the custard spreads all over the mouth. In addition to the custard, we also recommend the red bean paste. The sweet red bean paste is a refined taste. Next, we will introduce this store, Tomboya. This restaurant specializes in tuna steaks and is very popular, selling out around 11 a.m. Eat it with salt and pepper. The outside is crispy and the inside is moist. 
It's made with fresh tuna, so it's flavorful without being peculiar. It tastes as good as beef steak. Next, we will introduce the restaurant Okame. This is a popular sushi restaurant where you can eat sushi standing up. Here, you can enjoy sushi made by hand by artisans at a reasonable price. The salmon roe is large and has a nice pumping texture. The salmon is seared, so the excess fat is removed and it is crispy. The conger eel with sweet sauce melts in the mouth. It is nice to be able to enjoy authentic sushi at a reasonable price. Next, we will introduce this store, Kibun. Kibun was established in 1947 and specializes in fish paste. What we will eat at this restaurant is tsukishi age. This is tempura with crab fish cake skewered and deep fried. The batter is crispy and the inside is fluffy. It has a moderate spiciness because of the mustard mayonnaise is inside. There is a nice flavor of crab and green flavor. Next, we will introduce this place, Miyake Suisan. This is a fish store that has been in business for more than 70 years, supplying fish to high-end restaurants in Ginza and other areas. At this store, we will introduce two types of sashimi. Let's start with the salmon. It's fresh, so it's colorful and beautiful. It is served with wasabi and soy sauce. The fat on the salmon makes it melt in the mouth. It has no peculiarity and it has a refreshing aftertaste. The next dish is scallops. The price is reasonable for a large portion of fresh scallops. The scallops are thick and have a nice plum texture. It is moist and has a rich sweetness. Next, we will introduce this store, Tsukiji Yamacho. This is a store specializing in egg dishes established more than 70 years ago. It is recommended to come here between 6 a.m. and 8 a.m. as it is a popular store with a long line. The freshly baked egg omelette is fluffy and moist. It has the natural sweetness of Japanese soup stock. Nice that the price is so reasonable. Next, we introduce this store, Matcha Stand Maruni. It is a store specializing in matcha drinks that opened in 2018. It is a popular store that is frequently introduced on social media and has lines forming every day. This time, we will have the most popular iced matcha latte at this store. There are three levels of sweetness to choose from. The matcha latte is made to order right in front of the customers. The matcha used in the matcha latte is made from high-grade uji matcha, so it has a nice flavor. It has a subtle bitterness, but the sweetness of the milk makes it easy to drink. If those who want to feel the bitterness of authentic matcha tea, we recommend ordering it without sweetness. Next, we will introduce this store, Asahi Honten. Here, they serve octopus crackers made by pressing and baking octopus. It is recommended to go there at 10 a.m. when it opens because there is a line every day and you may have to wait for more than an hour. In addition to octopus, shrimp crackers made by pressing and baking shrimps are also popular. They are crispy and delicious, so please try them. Next, we introduce this restaurant, Tsukiji Unagi Shokudo. This is a popular restaurant where you can enjoy freshly grilled eel and scallops at a reasonable price. The eel seasoned with sweet sauce has a lot of fat. They are crispy on the outside and plump on the inside. Let's also try the freshly grilled scallops. The scallops seasoned with soy sauce have a nice flavor. The sweet taste and plum texture are very addictive. This is the only place in Tsukiji Market 
where they serve eel and scallops at a such a reasonable price. Next, we would like to introduce this store, Shimizu. Opened in 2020, it specializes in sweet potatoes. You can eat in the restaurant, but you can also take out and enjoy sweet potato sweets easily. This time, we will try this dessert, which is especially recommended. This is the Oi Mont Blanc, a Mont Blanc style dessert made with sweet potatoes. The fried sweet potato chips are crispy. The sweet potato paste is smooth and naturally sweet. The milk flavored ice cream and sweet potato paste are a perfect match. Underneath the ice cream is a sweet potatoes flavored with sweet honey. It has a melting texture. It's nice to be able to enjoy many different flavors in one bowl. Next, we will introduce this store, Maguria Krogen. This is a popular place where you can eat tuna sushi and seafood bowls in a stand-up style. Prices are high, but authentic tuna is available. This time, we would like to introduce tuna sushi roll, where high-class tuna can be eaten at a reasonable price. It is made by wrapping red tuna, medium fatty tuna, and salted radish pickled with seaweed and rice. It is eaten with sweet soy sauce. The tuna is fatty and melts in the mouth. The tuna has a strong flavor. The texture of the radish pickled is a nice accent. This restaurant is a bit expensive, but if you want to eat tuna at a more reasonable price, this is the place to go. This is Takashin Suisan. This store specializes in tuna and bonito. It is a good balance of price and taste, so it is a recommended store visited by many Japanese who eat sushi regularly. This time, we will have the fatty tuna. The sushi is ready to be served with wasabi and soy sauce. The pink color of the fatty tuna is very vivid. The fatty tuna is beautiful. It melts in the mouth and disappears. It has a lot of fat, but because it is fresh, there is no peculiarity and the aftertaste is refreshing. The prices are reasonable and not for tourists, so we who live in Japan can recommend this place. Next, we will introduce this store, Tsukiji Croquette. This restaurant specializes in Monja Croquette, which is a croquette filled with monjayaki, a specialty of Tokyo. The flavor of dried bonito flakes and green laver is nice. The crispy batter is filled with noodles and cabbage, so it's like eating monjayaki. This monja croquette is also popular, but it is the croquette that has recently become popular on social media. This one has spicy cutro mayonnaise poured over the monja croquette. The spiciness of the spicy cutro and the popping texture is addictive. The seaweed has a nice flavor. The spicy cutro mayonnaise is creamy and makes the croquette even tastier. Next, we will introduce this restaurant, Kitsuneya. This restaurant was established in 1947 and specializes in hormone and beefles. There is always a line of people waiting in line, so we recommend coming at 6.30 a.m. when the restaurant opens. Let's start with the Inars boiled in miso. It has a nice miso flavor. It is cooked with hacho miso, made from beans, so it tastes sweet and rich. The inars is tender and melts in the mouth. The texture of konjac has a nice accent. Sprinkling shichimi on it adds spiciness and a fresh flavor, making it even tastier. The next dish is a beef ball. The beef is cooked with soy sauce, sugar, miso, and other seasonings until it breaks into small pieces. The beef melts in the mouth. The rich seasoning makes it a perfect match with rice. 
It is a recommended dish that you should try even if you have to wait in line. Next, we will introduce this store, Skiji Shoro. This is an egg dessert specialty store run by an egg specialty store established in 1924. Cream puffs are also popular, but the pudding introduced here is the most popular. The store's pudding is made with a custard cream sauce, made with vanilla beans from Madagascar, which is poured over the pudding. The vanilla bean flavor is very nice. The pudding is smooth and melts in the mouth. It has a rich egg taste. There is a caramel sauce under the pudding, so it has a moderate bitterness. The pudding has an elegant taste with the natural sweetness of eggs. Next, we will introduce the butcher shop, Yoshizawa Shoten. At this store, we will introduce fried foods made with high-grade Wagyu Matsusaka beef. Let's start with the croquette. The outer batter has a nice crispy texture. It contains minced Matsusaka beef and potatoes inside. The fat from the Matsusaka beef soaks into the potatoes, making them taste thicker than they look. The potatoes are moist and smooth. The next dish is a minced cutlet made with Matsusaka beef. Juices overflow from the inside. It has a lot of fat, but the aftertaste is clean because it is high-quality beef. Next, we will introduce this place, Makurono Miyako. This restaurant serves grilled fresh seafood. The most popular dish we will be eating is this grilled seafood. It is grilled tuna, shrimp, scallops, and sea urchins on a scallop shell. The shrimp are plump and sweet. The scallops are thick and filling. The sea urchin has a rich flavor. The tuna is moist and juicy. It is a gorgeous grilled seafood. Next, we will introduce this store, Torito. This is a butcher shop specializing in chicken and sells a wide variety of chicken-based dishes. Let's try the grilled chicken on a skewer. This is grilled chicken thigh with teriyaki sauce on it. It has a nice flavor of teriyaki sauce. The surface is crispy, but the inside is moist and juicy. It is delicious with a sweet flavor. We also recommend karaage at this restaurant. It has a nice flavor of soy sauce. The taste of ginger and garlic soaks into the inside of the dish, giving it a strong taste. Next, we will introduce this store, Tsukiji Soratsuki. This store specializes in desserts using strawberries. Among the various menu items, the most popular is the strawberry daifuku mochi. It is a cute dessert with strawberries on the top of a mochi. The strawberries are sweet with little sourness. Inside is red bean paste made from Hokkaido azuki beans. The sweet red bean paste and strawberry juice will fill up the mouth. In addition to the red bean paste, there are six other types of strawberry daifuku, including green tea, chocolate cream, strawberry cream, and custard cream. Prices are reasonable, so be sure to give them a try. Soft serve ice cream is also recommended at this store. It is a combination of milk and strawberry flavored soft serve ice cream with strawberries on top. It is a cute soft serve ice cream. Strawberries have a rich, sweet taste. The soft serve ice cream mixed with milk and strawberry flavor has a good balance of sweetness and sourness. The large size is also very nice. Next, we will introduce this fish shop, Saito Suisan. This fish shop was established in 1967 and is popular with many customers every day. 
This store offers various kinds of sashimi, but the one we will introduce here is sea urchin, which is especially recommended. The price is a little expensive, but it is a gorgeous sea urchin with plenty of volume. It has a nice flavor of the sea. Pour soy sauce on it before eating. The rich taste of sea urchin fills up the mouth. It melts and disappears. The spicy taste of wasabi is a nice accent. Next, we will introduce this place, Saiwai Ken. We introduce the most popular shumai at this restaurant. The price is reasonable, but the size is large and satisfying. Have it with soy sauce poured over it. The minced meat is coarse, so it has a nice plump texture. The onion also gives it a sweet taste. The last restaurant we will introduce is Tsukiji Ihachi. This is a popular teppanyaki restaurant where you can enjoy A5 ranked wagyu beef. Wagyu beef on skewers is popular, but it is very expensive. This time, we will introduce wagyu shabu, where we can enjoy two kinds of flavors at a reasonable price. The wagyu beef bowl is a bowl of rice topped with two kinds of beef, sweetened beef and large pieces of beef grilled on an iron plate. It is about half the price of wagyu beef skewers. The sweet wagyu beef has a strong flavor that makes the rice go faster. The sweetness of the onion enhances the flavor of the wagyu beef. Crack open the yolk and eat the wagyu. It is fatty and melts in the mouth. The yolk makes the wagyu beef creamy. We recommend this menu because you can eat wagyu beef easily. Please give it a try. If there's any restaurant you'd like us to introduce, let us know in the comments. Please give us the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Well, that's all for today. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.